I'm wearing a cowboy hat. Well, I mean, you've been saying howdy in your videos for hey, how long? Howdy. It's it's, it's, it's actually really thing, eh? fitting that you're finally wearing I'm a cowboy finally hat. Finally wearing a cowboy hat. I have had this hat for I don't know how many years. That's you know. It's yeah, a thing. It, it's a look, thing. Ten days a year, the city of Calgary hosts the Stampede, and every accountant and lawyer in the city puts on their spurs, their cowboy boots, their belt buckle, and their hat, along with their Blackberries and Bluetooth headsets. It's literally just the thing our city does. So you always have a cowboy hat, except for me, apparently. I just you, have the boots and the belt buckle. You, you, yeah, you're not a cowboy kind of person. No. I, however... I'm feeling festive, and any time I can break out this hat, you married me knowing. <laughs> yeah, it's... Any time I can break yes. this hat, I'm breaking it out. And we're unboxing the two-player starter set for all of us. Exodus, so... Hat! Hat! <laughs> I'm super excited about it. Um, And, uh, yeah, so so we're going to go right into it right after the jump. Um, So, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, uh, here is the Wild West Exodus starter. It's a little squished from Adepticon. It's, yeah, almost like we had to pack it in a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Right? Um, oh, there's a sticker on the end of this. Okay. Well, if only you had scissors in your hand that you put down to fight with the sticker. Right? But alas. Okay. Is that it? Because that feels like a lot of wasted box. Hey! Holy there we go. smokes, models! So we got some some packed on sprues. Jesus! Right. The, like when you say packed on, you really mean freaking packed on, man. All Look at right. These. Can we talk about the dude in the messiah pose? Uh, that one. Yeah, with the pistols out. Because I love that dude. I don't even is know what faction Is that just a James? He's... I don't know. I have no idea who it is. I have no idea. Okay, I'm reading I the box. nothing I'm about him. I'm reading the box. I'm reading but the box. But Jesus Pose Jesus uh, Pistols. pistols. Uh, what do we got? Is that even... Is he not on the box? There he is. He's a bandit. He is a bandit. So, dibs this on the dude. bandits. This dude here. Oh, man. I like how they show you all the freaking models. Okay. So, I have been told that... When you build these models, just an FYI. Um, Wild West Exodus <laughs> models are not built to be compatible. With As a in, cross sprue. A, yeah, a cross sprue. So it's like, this dude here... His it, legs. You know, this legs and torso, there's only one set of arms that will fit him. Do not make the mistake of clipping everything and cleaning it. Is dry, what I have been told. We haven't built them, obviously. Dry fit all the motherfucking things. But still, like, I, I, that makes sense, though, given how beautiful the sculpts are and how detailed they are, right? Like, this isn't, like, uh, cut-and-paste compatibility. Um, and I'm okay with that. I mean, the thing is, I'm looking at these freaking plastics, and they look like a lot of pewters I see out there, too, in terms of the detail, right? Um, yeah, there's a ton of it's detail in plastics. I'm very happy with these, because, I mean, like... Um, like, seriously. Without... without naming Ooh. names like for a new company like uh who makes wild west what's on the uh what's the company name i think they're called outlaw outlaw miniatures yeah um, so which makes sense given right? that it's the um so for, game so for a them. relatively new company like they're tooling outlaw, and they're, their tooling is beautiful. really it's really beautiful. nice okay so ooh, and motorbike what a bug, what a bug. Okay. Alright. Um, um, so there are detailed instructions which whoa. are summing up what we just said. Here. Which is It tells you each dude and his this parts. This dude, these are his parts. Use them only. You know, they are not swappable. And what I really love about it is actually highlighting where on the sprue you can find it all. Because I know that Games Workshop's newer plastics are numbering everything. Because you'll get that the shit instructions. shit is bullshit, though. And Have it's you just ever like, built it? you need 63, 64, 65. And then you try They're to find it. They're all over the fucking They're place. They're all over the place. It's really difficult to find. So that's really just like an, a, a quality of life thing. Is right? it making the model any better or worse? No. no. But... In terms of quality, in of terms life, of building, really though, it's like beautiful, it. and I like that. I appreciate the thoughtfulness that goes into that sort of thing. It's like so more instruction. There's a lot of instructions for everything, which is really, really cool. well. I mean, I think that's the other thing is when I recommend games to people, especially people who aren't necessarily like, like, who aren't necessarily into like, you know, three thousand dollars worth of models, um, the way that we are or more. <laughs> three thousand is a 
I think small. I have 3,000 in my yet to be painted or <laughs> built pile. Right? Um, but like when you're recommending stuff like this to, to people who, who you want to get into gaming, or just not necessarily as crazy as so, we are, cards. that's what, that like stuff like this makes it so much easier and say, you know, ooh, templates. These are really nice components. components. So we've got some really, really nice quality D10s because this is, well, most Exodus Which you will use fuck a D10 up system. All sorts of ways. You have your template. And I love multi tool templates, okay? Yeah. I mean, I can't tell you the number of flame templates I have lost in my lifetime. <laughs> uh, but honestly, there's something about just the size and portability of a multi purpose one that I've just you never. You never lose these I've things. never lost a multi purpose. And nobody steals them from you either because they're so big. And then we've got two other additional range measures, a hat, you know, and I love, again, I love these sort of L-shaped, every, every bit is a different distance. Makes it worthwhile though, um, right? I'm assuming that all of these distances are relevant to this game. <laughs> again, one, two, three, four. I played a demo at Adepticon and Abe Lincoln ate my bear. <laughs> And I mean, honestly, if that had been Teddy Roosevelt, I'd have been fine with it. Because as we all know, Teddy Roosevelt ain't going no to fuck with. All right. Uh, tokens. Oh, look at these. They're beautiful. Um, you know what, though? They're look, lovely. Looking at them, I don't like how hard it is to read them, but a quick... You can ink qu them. I was going to say, a quick prime and then an ink wash. You don't even need to do that. No, no, but like I said, I would prime them like a, like a different color, like a white, so that ink wash would pop, and then just a quick ink wash over top, and they will be much, Beautiful. much easier to read. to read. We've got our rule book. Um, <sighs> look at this. I... This is a ton of components. Can we just talk about how nicely laid out the rule book is too? Mm -hmm. Like, I love it when I see art in rule books. Like, do you remember there was a time where Games Workshop fired their entire art department and you could tell because the codexes looked super ugly? Because it was all words all the time. Um, this is beautiful. I love seeing concept art. Like, you don't have to make everything color. You don't have to make everything thing. They just, they have to look nice enough. Mm -hmm for me to appreciate what you're highlighting when things are important you know laying it out i know you as a technical writer appreciate that sort of shit so yes i do yeah no the more i look at these tokens the more i would just give it a light dusting of probably that bone primer that bone. i did my entire army painter. I like Our, army painter army painter skeleton bone is like my favorite shade is, of of, yeah, of primer in it's terms that of the or world, black man. for me um and then a quick wash over top maybe a dry brush to Again, take it off, but that that would be pushing it. Look at that! Just beautifully designed component cards. Ah, uh, you're probably gonna want card sleeves though, because you know, your it looks like there are wound markers on the cards. Yes, there themselves. are wound tracks, so you're definitely gonna want to invest in some nice clear card sleeves and some dry erase markers. Anyone that's familiar with War Machine and Hordes or Bushido, uh, already already very familiar with that mm -hmm. kind of uh, profile cards. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I am excited for this game. Can we I have just to talk say. about Cyborg Jesse James for a second? Just in that art piece right there. Okay, I need to see Cyborg Jesse James. <laughs> you can't tell everyone. Cyborg Jesse James, right? Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, man, so, okay. Um, what so, about Wider? Can Wider, I see Wider? looks is like he... a dude. He's got a buckle. He's got a shield. Of course, he has a shield. Of course, he has a shield. <laughs> so, Wyatt Earp with the shield. And like, let's be fair. I'm uh, Canadian. I didn't grow up with all this crazy Americana. All this um, cowboy stuff. Uh, but, but I have a cowboy hat, so you see, can expect me I was wearing that say, stuff. I uh, I <laughs> did grow up game. watching westerns, and I think that is why I've been excited for Wild West Exodus oh, forever. I'm super excited. I'm so freaking excited. I was going to say, oh, I like man. Jesus pose, but I am loving these uniforms and, on the, the, lawman? and the sheriff's it's badges and the deputy right? badges on all the lawmen. Okay. I think they would paint so fun. Uh, like, like, I'm going to be honest. It's it's always, okay, it's always been about the models for me when we did um, some some stuff at Adepticon. Looking at the cases, I know you talked about it, and I remark about it. Um, the models are just beautiful. Yeah. And when you have detailed models like this, they do the work for and you again, when you put paint on them too, this right? Is a, this is a two-player starter set, and not knowing much about the game, really. It's hefty. Um, this is fairly hefty. The fact that you're getting, what, ten hired hands, you're getting ten hired hands per faction, you're getting a boss, an underboss, 
um, a heavy support, like a, a light support, either, yeah, you're getting a light support for each, and you're getting a heavy, like a gunner support kind of thing, like yeah. your, your bandit heavy weapon, your deputy heavy weapon. Love it, and all the components. Um, all of the components, like, this is a great way to get into the game. Honestly, I'm, I mean, two-player starters, I feel... They're kind of passe, let's well, be honest. Unless no, you're, no, like, a married couple right? who no, no, no. But shares I mean, like, a rule book. But, I mean, like, let, let's be honest, though. Two-player starters typically mm -hmm. suck for the yeah. for, for the for for building a force after it you yeah know? that's exactly uh, when it. you 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 ask any war machine or hordes player what you know if the, you know if i'm getting into the game and i even want one of the starter set factions should i buy a starter set they'll all say no, no. every one of them will say no because your casters aren't great the unit choices aren't great and so you just end up having to replace everything, everything eventually this doesn't feel this way because, I mean, uh, you and I have looked into it. And basically, you need a boss, and these are all great choices. <laughs> you need hired hands. Yep. Um, and the fact that you're also getting support, like light support vehicles and heavy weapons, yeah. uh, is just icing on the cake, really. So, I mean, for me, I'm I'm, ex nice I'm excited to build these. I'm excited to put paint to models, and I think after my Bushido, I might actually... Uh, Sit, sit down, down and, and focus on done. on painting some lawmen. I think I th you're gonna take the lawmen. I'm sorry, but those badges, those <laughs> uniforms. You keep you on me. You know how I love a man in uniform. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Huh? What? What? <laughs> what video is this? I, I guess it's bad boys for me then. Oh, oh I got Vegas. the vans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's actually talk about our first impressions to the camera with our heads. Not our hands? Not our hands. Deal? Our... All right, fine. All right, so... Mm-hmm. Can we talk a little bit about... Now, I just need you to know that even though... So for you, those of you watching, though all you saw was her hands, the cowboy hat stayed on the whole time that she was unboxing it. Like, it just... At no point was I was just like, so are people going to see your head? And you're like, no. <laughs> so... I... Uh, hats! Wild, I Wild love West hats. Exodus. Wild West Exodus. Um... First of all, let's talk about why I love Wildest Exodus. One, the models are gorgeous. We've mm -hmm. seen the models. We, you know, two, I get to wear a cowboy hat pretty much now. This is going to be Look, the thing. Anytime you wear, play the game, you can wear your cowboy hat. I'm totally hat. going to. And name another miniatures game that has built-in props for the player because I can't think of one. Exactly. So, so I feel good about it. But like, you gotta, you gotta say something about. Just the quality of those sculpts. I can't yeah. get over how beautiful and how detailed they are. How loaded the plastic mm -hmm. was, too. Holy excess. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh. the, 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 the sprues are yeah. packed. Um, it's I, not any know. of those, like, like, you know, we talk about plastic and, and mm -hmm. manufacturing, and I still see plastics that look like Games Workshop plastics from, like, 15 years ago. Super sparse. Yeah. Like, you get huge Low. frames with, like, maybe five guys yeah. on them. Not a lot of accessories. That is not what is happening here. No. It is um, You know, and that's the thing, is I'm like, I, I'm really impressed with uh, the quality of the plastic mm -hmm. production for such a new company. Yeah. Because, again, um, you know, you can look at other older, more established companies, and they're just getting they're just here. Just getting there. They're just getting to this point. And this is a, a brand new company with their first game. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I want to shout it out again because I, this is the nicest detail ever, mm -hmm. and I love the instruction guide right. with like the little redded out Actually, areas like, where it's just like these are where piece. the pieces are for this dude. So trip, clip them all out, clean them, put them together, move on. Because cool. again, um, these are not interchangeable models, and that doesn't take away from them at all. I don't feel I think like it makes having it better though because I think that the fit on all of the mm -hmm. components will be better for it. Like I. It's kind of like when you put Pistol together... Jesus. Pistol, Pistol Pist Jesus, Pistol, right? Pistol Jesus, like a pose like that is not possible yeah. when you are running with component arm mm -hmm. pieces because no one is ever going to give you the two pistols with like out to each arm, but you're able to sculpt that pose knowing attach boots, attach head, you're he's good, to, good go. to go. Um, so again, I love the models. I'm really excited to, to put some paint on them. Um... If you have your way, you will film me doing that. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know in comments. Go tell Nathan he's got to get this done for me in comments. Because um, people just don't understand. And I, and I think this is one of those things where 
I do things quickly. I do things simply. You're the one who's the detailed artist. Oh yeah, I am I am literally the opposite of yeah, that. So for yeah. me I'm just like, "Hey, you know the best way to do this flesh tone? Seven layers. I'm on it." Uh, <laughs> but they're beautiful. The outcome is beautiful, so I can't deny that. Anyways, if you guys uh want to check out a little bit more um if you want to see more about Wild West Exodus, we're going to get our stuff put together pretty quickly. I think I've got to run through um some 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 gaming um, with this stuff. I'm really excited to like yeah, to actually well, and, be rolling with it more. And, and that's the thing is like while even while we're painting, mm -hmm. we do know people that have multiple factions painted. Funny. So we can always tap uh, tap one of our friends and see if he would be up for doing some let's play. It's the nice thing about growing up, like living in a cowboy town, essentially. Um, cowboys people tend to like cowboy games. I remember when Legend of the Old West was actually a thing out here. Mm -hmm. We we actually played it. It was, it, it you know, it's one of those things. So we we have a lot of friends who are who are into this, which is nice for a game this new. Yeah, too, again, right? great setting, great, great models. Setting, great models. Um, you know, even mm -hmm. though I haven't read the rules yet, I I I know I'll have fun, and I'm willing oh, to put in the time to build and paint them. So I can't wait. All right, so uh, so that's our first impressions. Let us know in the comments what your favorite kind of new game out there is skirmish games i want to hear about them because we're we're starting to branch out a little bit more aren't we well the the best part about a skirmish game is you paint 10 guys you're done um unlike say other um, large scale army games where it's just like so i need a hundred and a lord of war this is bullshit i'm i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna also mention too that like i was looking at this piece i think they're actually gonna be one of the few games that we've picked up recently that actually we can use like plastic glue on no oh god real that is <laughs> that brings me back oh my god like <laughs> i have bottles of pro weld which i adore i actually love this stuff that does not well does not melt some of the shittier harder plastics out there the and market. i'm not i mean I, just, I love that stuff i love i love i love being able to trust the stuff without gluing my freaking fingers together um yeah so that's me i do that a lot so all the time all the time so yeah, I, I'm really excited to, to put that stuff together. Anyways, that's that's kind of us. Uh, until next time, I'll see you soon. Cheers. I'm the chair. Come sit on me. <laughs> My dog died. My wife left me. And I need... Why don't you just go for the Tay Tay? <laughs> Shake it off. Shake, Shake it, it off. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that, you have the absolute best bloopers you never really released. I they're probably gonna be released. All right. Okay. Right, we're gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna let this roll. So All right. yeah, if y'all, this is probably gonna be a post on the subscribe slash leave a comment like follow me on Facebook thing so people can watch the awkwardness that is us when we're, you know. Left to our own devices. <laughs> to our own devices. <laughs> With a camera rolling. Right, right. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, folks. Thanks so much for watching.